do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we will be discussing about hydraulic press and we will understand how the press is used for our purpose so let us start with hydraulic press so students start with the hydraulic press hydraulic press is basically a device you can say which uh, is used to compress or give different shapes to suppose a waste paper bundle of waste papers you have you press it and uh, so that uh, its volume can be reduced in case of metals and you press it and uh, give a uh, sheets in the form of uh, fine uh, sheets so basically that is used to create a two dimensional objects so a cube is a cube of metal is pressed and uh, it can make it a uh, thin sheets or you have a uh, cotton wells that is also pressed and uh, compressed and then it is reduced to its uh, the volume of that uh, substance is reduced so what is the use of uh, reducing the volume of the substance because uh, the waste paper we don't want that this waste paper is uh, it takes uh, more of the space so you compress it and uh, then uh, it uh, uh, so the volume is reduced so basically what is the purpose of that uh, hydraulic press that we discussed now in the, understand the concept of hydraulic press and the principle on which it is based is pascal's law in pascal's law the pressure that is applied at one point is transmitted to each and every point that pressure that is transmitted is used in uh, this concept of uh, hydraulic press in hydraulic press we have a cylindrical type uh, u tube like this uh, here we have uh, suppose liquid say water hydraulic hydraulic means it is uh, operated with water mostly hydraulic press so the word press uh, implies to press the object to press it to reduce its volume or to give different uh, different shapes so now i have this is suppose the there is a heavy plate metal plate placed over this this is a cylinder u2 and uh, the area of cross section of this side here suppose the area cross section here is a1 here uh, the area cross section on this side is uh, here it is suppose a2 and above it uh, there is a metal plate which is fixed over here which is fixed over here now in between this uh, upper plate and this uh, plate we place the job the job is that uh, you put some waste paper over here or whatever is required cotton some cotton if you want cotton is placed here then i apply a force here say f1 and because of this force that i'm applying here that uh, pressure because of the pressure that pressure is transmitted to this side the force developed here will be suppose f2 and that pushes this so this part moves up because this this is movable this will move up and presses this 
uh, substance, whatever you get. Uh, suppose uh, waste papers, so these are pressed against this uh, fixed uh, upper plate. So it goes like that. So now, how the Pascal's law is used is uh, Pascal's law is based on the pressure. The pressure here and the pressure here will be same. It says the suppose the pressure here is P1. Suppose the pressure here that is developed here is P2, and according to Pascal's law, P1 is P2. What is P1? The pressure that is applied at this end where the area cross section is less. What is P2? Pressure that is developed at this end where the where this the area cross section is more. Now, according to Pascal's law, P1 is P2. Now, if the pressure is same, then I can use that. I know that the pressure formula is force of an area. So I write the force as pressure into area. So pressure P1 is F1 A1 here. The force is P, P1 A1 here. So the pressure is same. Pressure is F upon A. So I want to write this pressure as F upon A in terms of that. Then that is F1 upon A1. Here also F2 upon A2. Then what will happen? Which is greater in area? This area is greater as you can see here. This is wider and this area is smaller. Then what we will do? You see that will be a definite relationship. Even if the pressure is same, the area is not same. So, so force will not be same. So force will be definitely different. What is that force? This justifies that the pressure is same, but this doesn't mean that the force is same because you can write now that F1 upon F2 is A1 upon A2. This is the relation. This is brought to this side and that is taken to the other side of the equation and we have this. Now, you can see that as A1 by A2, you can compare A1 A2. I have already told you that this area A2 and this area is A1. A2 is greater than A1 that means A2 by A1 is greater than 1 and here it is A1 by A2 okay I can write like this that if I want to reverse this F2 by F1 is A2 by A1 I can write this also by reversing this so because A2 by A1 is greater than 1 so F2 by F1 is also greater than 1 because the whole thing is greater than 1 so these they are two are equal so therefore this is also be greater than 1 this implies that f2 is greater than f1 what is the meaning of that what is the use of this the force that is developed here f2 is much greater than f1 that depends upon how the area varies if the area is more than this suppose you can see the force and the, at a given pressure pressure is force upon area and the force is pressure into area for a given pressure force is proportional to area so if i increase the pressure or area double the force will become double if i increase the area three times the force will be three times so linearly it will vary so therefore if the area here is suppose one meter square and here it is 10 meter square that means the area is increasing 10 times the force will also in multiply by 10 times if I apply a force of 1 Newton here, that force will be developed here as 10 Newton. So, so the force multiplier, this works like a force multiplier. The force is increased depending on the ratio of the area. If you want more force here, then you have to increase this area of cross section so that even by applying a small force, the force here is more because that force is required for our job. Because the jaw has to be pressed, so the force has to be more. If it is more, then you can do the work by pressing it. So therefore, from this we conclude that the force is greater than this. And this helps in the uh, doing the work. What is the work? Work is to press it. So what are the uses? I will just write it down for you. So let us understand the uses. A like conclusion.
So it is used to, as I told you, to waste to place the waste paper or cotton wells. It uh, is used to cross the seeds to extract oils because when seeds are broken and crossed, then oils are the oils can be obtained can be derived from that seeds to extract oil. Metals are pressed to be given different shapes or uh, it is in the form of say uh, thin seeds uh, can be converted to thin seeds. So these are the uses of uh, hydraulic press. Okay, thank you very much.